Hey guys, welcome back to Tybee Time. Who wants beautiful homemade meatloaf with a beautiful spicy glaze? Stay tuned. Okay guys, so for today's meatloaf, what I'm gonna use is this meatball and meatloaf mix. What I got here? Pound and a half, and I have a half a pound of ground beef here. It's a 80-20. And I'm going to mix that together. Okay, guys. So here I have some uh, Italian bread. It was two pieces of sliced Italian bread that I just broke up. And I'm going to pour a half a cup of milk over the top of that. And I'm going to let that just soak up the milk. And I'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes. Here I have one egg that I just cracked. And I'm going to beat that. Okay, we'll be right back. Now here I have a huge Spanish onion and I'm just gonna cut a portion of that off and dice this up really slow. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna dice it up really fine and I'm gonna put it in a frying pan and let it sweat for a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna dice this up. Like I said, I'm gonna dice all of this up, put it in the frying pan and let it sweat. We'll be back. All right, guys, so I am just now sweating these onions on the stove. I don't know if you can see or not, but I just put a teaspoon of minced garlic in with it, and I put a little bit of salt and pepper on there, and we're just gonna let them sweat for maybe one more minute, and I'm gonna shut it off and let it cool. Okay, guys, let's get started. Here, I, I have the meat mixture I showed you, and I'm gonna start out by adding a generous amount of, of salt. Yeah, some pepper, a little more than that. I like pepper, so pepper's going in. Now I like to use the garlic powder. Now this is all just for the meat right now. And Italian seasoning. You know, I gotta be honest, I don't normally use Italian seasoning. I usually use basil and thyme. Those are my two favorite, but I don't have any basil, which is really weird. Now, this is an Asian sauce that's a little bit spicy, and I put a quarter cup of that in because it makes it moist and delicious, and <laughs> it really flavors it so wonderfully. And so I really suggest that you try this if you can. Okay, let me clean up. I'll be back. Okay, so let's go with the, the whole beaten egg that's going in. I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs that were soaking in the milk. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and I'm gonna add a generous sprinkle of Parmigiano-Reggiano. It's a grated. Okay, oh, and a little bit more. All right, so now I'm gonna get in there with my hands and mix, mix, mix. Oh, you know what I forgot? Hang on. The onion and garlic. And like I said, I put a little salt and pepper on that, and I put um, I put some thyme leaves in that. I can't believe I almost forgot that. That would have been bad news. Okay, but that's all nice and cooled down now. So I'm just gonna mix this all together. All right, let me finish up mixing it, wash my hands. Well, I won't, I'll finish mixing it up. I will, uh, Put it out on the sheet pan and you'll see that before I wash my hands. Hang on. Guys, I'm going to show you what I use to top uh, the, the meatloaf with. It's a cup of regular ketchup. Now, these other items, you know, sometimes I, I tend to use things to my taste on the day that I'm making it. This is... 
you can read it, red hot, thick sauce. It's buffalo and barbecue. I usually use another kind of barbecue sauce, but I didn't have it. It was sweet baby rays, but I'm out. So I'm just gonna do like a pinch of this. This one's pretty spicy, which is a yummy thing. And now I'm gonna put a squirt of regular brown mustard in, just a squirt, just a little. You can see how much I put. And then a third of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, and I'm gonna mix that all together. Sorry, I like to clean up as I go. It's really something that drives me crazy if I don't. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna to use to uh, spread all over the top of the meat. Okay, so let me just get this mixed together and let it start to kind of marinate together with all of their flavors. Um, and then I will put the, uh, the loaf on the pan and, and top it with this and show you. We'll, we'll be right back. Okay, let's do this with the loaf. Okay, drop your meat out, make it into a loaf that is all the same, like depth, width, and length. You, you want it to cook evenly. So... I kind of like it to be, you know, kind of thick. That looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Don't worry, it's just me eating the meatloaf. There isn't anybody else that <laughs> is going to be worried about me coughing. Okay, now let's, let's wash our hands. All right, let's start. By putting the glaze on, just paint it all over the top. And I'm going to just continue to cover this and put it in a 350 degree oven. And I'm going to put it in for about 45 to 50 minutes. But during this, I think in about 30 minutes, I'm going to, well, I'm, in 30 minutes, I'm definitely going to take it out and put some more glaze on top. Okay, so... Stick, stay tuned. Guys, this is going into the 350 degree oven. Every inch of this has been glazed. We will be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go with the final result. Here it is, beautiful, right? Oh, let's cut a piece off the end. Everybody always says they want the end. I've let this rest for about five minutes since I took it out of the oven. Oh. Let's see, what do you think? Doesn't it look yummy? Okay, hang on, let me take a bite. Gotta get a fork. Okay, here we go. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, you gotta try this. I also made some pasta to go with it. Yeah. So I made this, oh my goodness, herb pasta to go with it. So let me move that over. Set this here, and this mm, is what I'm gonna have for my supper tonight. Oh, doesn't that look awesome? Oh, I know it's gonna be so, so good. All right, let, let me take this. You guys, thank you for watching Tidy Time.